this is uh, quick pediatrics or internal medicine today I'm gonna talk about the signs that you use to elicit chorea so you know it's a chorea is what you call the the they involve the proximal joints and are abrupt fast involuntary um, purposive okay jerky non-repetitive movements with the which decrease on the rest and disappears during the sleep right but that is chorea increases when there is the excitement okay so what are the signs that you should see in the patients with the chorea remember the important is milk made sign or a grip so what you have to do is if you ask the patient to shake hand with you the patient's grip increases and it decreases alternatively and thus it resembles as if he's a milking milking right so it's known as a milking action of the milk made man that's why known as a milk made grip so the other sign is spooning of hands spooning of hands spooning okay what is the spooning of the hands is on a projecting the hands forward there is a flexion of the wrist and extension at the finger joints and very important is abduction of the thumb okay just try yourself spooning of the what you call on projecting the hands forward okay uh, there is a flexion of the wrist okay and extension at the finger joints and abduction of the thumb so if you if, if, if you try yourself you can just see this sign in a patients with the chorea and another important sign is pronator sign pronator sign what is a pronator sign is on raising the arms above the head if you tell the patient to raise the hand above his head there is a pronation of one or both the hands that's known as a pronator sign and another important sign is jack in the box jack in the box tongue okay jack in the box tongue sign when you ask the patient to protrude his tongue the tongue flits in and out that's known as what you call the jack-in-box tongue okay so sign used to elicit the uh, chorea or metamate sign spooning of the hands pronator sign and jack-in-the-box tongue so these are the important signs you should do in the patients of chorea and the chorea is mostly seen in what you call rheumatic fever rheumatoid, okay rheumatoid heart disease rhd right okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care